everyone, it's Friday. Oh my god. So I've barely filmed anything in, for the vlog this week. I've been feeling really just run down and tired and just rubbish in general. My skin is just horrible and it's wet and windy and disgusting outside today, which isn't helping my mood and feeling as well. So I spent the start of the week working on some orders and a wedding dress, so I couldn't film that anyway because that's a secret. Um, then Wednesday I made my little tote bag, which I put that video up because um, I was feeling really rubbish. I just cocked up the sound completely. The sound's terrible. And I filmed it right at the last minute, so I didn't have time to redo it. So I'm really annoyed with myself for doing that wrong. Yesterday, I don't even know what I did yesterday. So I spent some time this week redoing or changing up some of the thumbnails on my channel as well, just trying to improve them. I'm feeling a bit frustrated with my channel at the minute and about reaching people. It's it's so difficult to reach people and I know there's an audience out there for what I'm doing. I just don't know how to get to them and because I'm a small channel it just doesn't feel like YouTube's pushing my videos to people. My reach on Facebook is just terrible. It's just really bad. I'm posting, I've got 14,000 followers on Facebook and it's being seen by it's just such a small percentage of them because I'm not paying to boost posts. I'm just finding it really frustrating trying to get things seen. So I've been looking at my channel, looking at the videos that I'm making and wondering if I need to do something a bit different, um, make some changes. So maybe what I'm doing is already being done, maybe everyone's seen it, it's not new, it's not exciting. So I'm thinking I might need to make some changes to what I'm doing. So I'm sort of having to rethink about what my motivation is with my channel, what I want to show people, what I want to do. And I think maybe I need to be a bit more dramatic. So I've been sort of thinking back and obviously I, I got known here for doing big dresses, for doing corsets, for doing that over the top couture. So I'm wondering if I need to start focusing on that rather than focusing on sort of up upcycling and revamping but maybe I can combine the two maybe I can find stuff in find fabrics to use and make big dresses and do my wigs and my hair and my makeup and yeah maybe I should go back to doing the dresses that I used to put on the catwalks with the big over-the-top headpieces and amazing feather wigs and all that stuff maybe I need to start creating those looks for me. I guess that's what I did with the first rock up frock, that prom dress. I did the wig and the shoes and everything to go with it. Maybe I need to start, yeah, concentrating more on creating big looks rather than doing quick stuff. Maybe I should do video ser a series of videos showing how I design, how I make the pattern, how I make the dress, how I make the wigs, how I make the accessories and headpieces, the makeup looks, and make it really over the top and like something that I would style for a dramatic catwalk show. That could be really fun. So I've also decided not to take on many new orders at the minute as well. I've got the website still going. I'm still in two minds about how to progress with that, whether it's worth pursuing. It's still costing me a lot of money every month to keep that website up because I've got no money to promote it or improve it. I feel like I'm getting nowhere and I'm kind of out of ideas on how to promote it without money so we'll see we'll see I'll keep it going for now and maybe maybe things will change in the future I still believe in my concept and what's going on and I'd still like to see it work out but who knows who knows so yeah thinking back to why people love rock stars and royalty why people followed me on social media why they were interested in my brand and it's because I made the big elaborate couture dresses I think I need to, on my channel, definitely make some kind of return to that. I've got my workshops coming up at the end of May. I've got two Rocked Up Frocks workshops. I've sold a couple of tickets for each, but ticket sales have been a bit slow, so who knows how that will go. Canberra's really notorious for buying tickets last minute, which is really frustrating if you've got something that you're organizing and you need to make sure you've sold enough tickets to make it financially viable if people hold off and buy tickets the last like the night before or the last second 
it's so frustrating so frustrating i don't know why that's a canberra thing if anyone has any kind of explanation i've never seen it happen anywhere else it just seems to be canberrans they everything involving ticket buying to the last minute so i've still got hopes that i will these workshops will be viable viable i think they're going to be loads of fun i really hope people come along and see how Simple it is just to transform something. Until the end of May, I'm going to keep making the videos that I'm making at the minute. And yeah, I think then from early June, I'm going to look at start doing a series that shows you all the processes to making a final dramatic look. And then I'll go out and either make it for myself or choose someone to make it for and go out and photograph it and create these big, over the top, glamorous alternative couture looks that yeah that's what people love me for so I think I'm going to return to that to show people how I do it yeah follow follow the process and maybe show people how much is involved in creating something like that because um one of the frustrations I've had for years is people asking me for quotes and I give them a price and they come back and go oh it's too expensive but they just don't understand the insane amount of hours that goes into creating the patterns and fitting the patterns the amount of money I spend on fabrics as well the cost of all the materials especially if there's corsetry involved it's just huge and the time involved as well so I think it'd be really interesting for people to see the work that goes on creating something really big like that but yeah I'm really excited so I'm going to start thinking of designs I'm going to start looking for some fabrics in op shops, I'm going to order wigs, I'm going to order makeup, I'm going to order anything that I can think of to create something really over the top and crazy and beautiful and go back to doing that. And big head pieces, I love making big head pieces, so I haven't done any of those for a while. Yeah, so some, some changes, definitely some changes, reassessing, rethinking and working out how to move forward from here. Hey, it's Saturday morning and I'm just off to do a quick bit of charity shop hunting. I've decided I'm going to bling up some sunglasses for my um, Rock Top Frocks video this week. It's something I haven't done yet. I love all the big embellished sunglasses that places like Dolce & Gabbana have been doing the last couple of years. So I've got lots of little flowers, I've got lots of jewellery, but um, I've got a couple of pairs of sunglasses too. But I thought I'd just pop to the charity shops and see if there's anything else that takes my fancy. So my op shopping trip yesterday wasn't all that successful. There was no sunglasses. I went to three charity shops and there was no sunglasses in any of them apart from one where she went out the back and came back with like a pair of sort of fake Oakley style sports sunglasses. I was really hoping for some nice sort of old metal frame sunglasses but yeah nothing. So I managed to get one nice necklace so I actually ended up going to La Visa in the end and buying some jewellery from there to use I found the most amazing necklace to put on these sunglasses and I've got loads of stuff from my stash that I'm going to use as well but my score from charity shopping yesterday was a pair of awesome shoes of prey shoes for eight dollars so they're a tiny bit big for me so I'm actually going to give them to a friend if they fit her and if they're too if they don't fit her either look at the sparkles if they don't fit her, I'll put some insoles and padding in and keep them wearing them, but eight bucks, really happy with those. I was looking for ballet flats, <laughs> it's crazy isn't it, I went looking for ballet flats to rock up for a video next week, couldn't find any of those in my size, and uh, yeah, no sunglasses and almost, there was not much good jewellery at all either, so yeah, luck wasn't on my side for what I needed but it was for <laughs> shoes and fray shoes so it's Sunday morning now and I'm about to start filming my blinged up sunglasses video <laughs> they've come out so cool I am so pleased with how these look uh, I'm just going to go and edit the video and get it uploaded. Hopefully people will like this video. Doesn't seem to have been a lot happening on my channel this week. I've had virtually no new subscribers this week, which is weird. So hopefully this will be something different. Get some new people in, see what happens. So 
that's it from me for this week. I'm going to go edit and I'll see you next week.